110 bikes, 75 cars and 34 trucks started today's stage. The Jean de Azevedo of Brazil, it was another chance to maybe get that first elusive win. With regards to the privateers, for example, Francois Flick, who we saw a couple of days ago in trouble, he had a good day, he was ninth overall. The privateers there ready to pounce in case anything went untoward with the works KTM riders. They all teamed up to try and beat those works riders. Fabrizio Mioni, 21st on the road today after yesterday's mechanical woes. He had another chance to up the ante and fight through after the problems. Eventually those problems located last night to be a problem with the camshaft locator. But he still won the stage today by 9 minutes and 33 seconds. The V-twin 950cc KTM was Harry Flatters. Richard Sanks was second on today's stage, losing out to Mione. He said it was very, very fast. And of course, the clever Frenchman saying he was not surprised about the pace of Mione's V-twin. Will Sanks keep his lead overall, though? It's now nearly 13 minutes. And the man who he leads over in the overall standings is Cyril Dupre. He was very careful about the broken dunes, but he covered 173 miles in just over two and a quarter hours. That's an average of 75 miles an hour. It was that quick out there. Jean Brucey, KTM number nine, teamed up with Mark Coma. Coma over the moon to reach the rest day. Coma fifth on the stage today, but Jean Brucey fourth overall. Coma back in ninth overall. To Azevedo snapping at the heels of Brucey though overall in fifth position. Whilst Chile's Carlo de Gavardo arrived in refueling, maybe a little more tired than he thought. The poor guy is worn out as the rest of the field continued on along the border. Today's stage, it was a quick one, and Mione found the speed. Ahead of Richard Sanks, Dupre teaming up with PG Lundmark and Mark Coma, the star for the future in fifth. Overall, Sanks' lead is nearly 13 minutes. Mione making up a little time, but still third overall.